<laughs> you guys. I'm doing okay, but Ray J was just charged with 10 crimes. Oh. Facing jail time. Oh. Plus Kanye West is crazy. Oh. I've got more proof. <laughs> and we've got a sneak peek of the wild new episode of Real Housewives of New York. Yeah. Let's get started, it's time for Hot Topics. I think they're cheering for my Betsy Johnson dress. I know. This is so not my style. I'm not the lace girl, but every once in a while, you've got to think outside the box and look at your reaction. You like it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, Ray J could be headed for jail. Well, do you remember back in May when he... Well, well no. Hold on, because this picture is very germane to the story. <laughs> Do you remember back in May when he allegedly touched a woman inappropriately at a hotel bar? One of those fancy hotels, I think the Beverly Wilshire it was. This is a place where he frequently goes and spends thousands of dollars, you know, entertaining himself and drinking, I guess, having a little nosh or whatever. Anyway, so he was at the hotel bar and he allegedly touched a woman inappropriately. Uh, then, then the woman wasn't having it. So the cops were called. He ended up spitting on the cop. It wasn't, but it was, you know what? It wasn't like that, but it was intentional saying all the words that break the spit come out. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Talking to the cop, it was intentionally the spit's coming out. And then when the, cop, when the cops cuffed him up and put him in the back of the squad car, Ray J claimed that he was claustrophobic and ended up kicking out the police car window. Well, they took him down to the station house and this is how Ray J walked out. Happy, like, <laughs> like, like an entitled rich guy who just got away with crime or something, I don't know. And you know I love my Ray J, but you know, I, I gotta call it the way I see it here on the show. And what I will say is, is that he was charged with 10 crimes. I'm gonna break it down for you and then I'll give you my opinion, okay? Four counts of resisting arrest. I guess, you know, get off me, get off me. <laughs> Three counts of assault and battery. Oh. Two counts of vandalism. Oh. And one count of sexual battery. Oh. So when we were in our morning meeting this morning, you know, only half the room agreed um, that, that no, this, this is not too much to charge him with. And the other half of the room, um, not just guys but girls too, kind of blew it off. Like, really, Wendy? You know, that was a setup. The girl in the bar probably stuck her you know, butt out and then he brushed it and then she just wanted to have a case, okay? Well, there are people out there like that, but guess what? There are also people out there who don't play that mess with you men. You know, there are many of us women who would also call the cops and wanna press charges. Like, don't, don't touch my, all right, I don't have a butt, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but, but I'm just saying, and how do we know it was a brushation? How do we not know it was a pinchation? Or a slapation? Right, or a liftation? You know, you take the bottom of your booty cheeks and you, you know, lift it. And, and there, are, there are a lot of guys who think that all women want to be approached like that, and that is not true. So maybe he just did it to the wrong girl, and this girl had some integrity and called the cops. Then, when the cops came, I get it, because I'm claustrophobic too. I could never be trapped in an elevator for two hours like two of my staffers were last week. Yeah, I could, I mean, I could never do that, and I get, I get, oh. however, you know, when you're in the back, the one thing you don't do is act wild when you're in the back of a cop car, and, I've been in the back of a cop car once. Oh. <laughs> Wendy's got the heat. 2002 New York Times bestseller. Oh, yeah. uh, and I remember being back there and being cuffed 
And realizing that, oh my gosh, the glass is so thick, and then they got that panel, so it's even smaller, like the back of a New York City cab or something like that. But it, then, to kick the window, that means you have to lean. Oh, he's short, he could do that. <laughs> yeah, Ray J, you're short, little munchkin, look. He lean over and start kicking. So the question to you is, do you think that these charges are too harsh for Ray J? Clap if you do. <laughs> you people. Ray J, I hope that you don't go to jail for this, but I definitely, oh, he, he faces six months in jail. That's not bad. I mean, you'll be out by spring. Do you, do you know what I mean? <clears throat> Listen, um, and they got Wi-Fi and a TV in there and stuff. Um, I, don't these, I don't think these charges are too harsh. I think that celebrities and wealthy people, sometimes that one and the same, sometimes separately, but I think celebrities and wealthy people feel like they can thumb their nose at the law. They feel like they can talk to people and swat them in the booty anytime they want. They feel like everybody wants some of what they're selling. And that's not true. So Ray J, let the chips fall where they may. You did this to yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that Kanye West looks handsome on the cover of the GQ magazine. Um, yeah, yes, right? Um, and inside, he proves that he's the madman I've been telling you all along that he is. Are you ready for the final touch to my outfit? It's so ridiculous. I, I can't even deal with it, I can't. So here's what Kanye says. Celebrities are being treated like blacks were in the 60s, having no rights. And the fact that people can slander your name, we're gonna fight to erase, or excuse me, fight to raise the respect level for celebrities so my daughter can live a more normal life. How about if you spent more time with your daughter at home? <laughs> With your wife, doing normal people things, your daughter might grow up with a more normal life. But the fact that she's got you as a father, all bets are off. I'm just saying. And then, she, and then he goes on to rant. Kim is this girl who bleepin' turns me on. People would try to say, well, you know, if you're a musician, you should be with a musician. And if you want to design, you need to be with a girl from the design world. I don't give a bleep about people's opinions. You mean to tell me that this girl with this bleeping body and this face is also into style? And she's a nice person? And she has her own money? And she's family oriented? That's just as cool as a bleeping fighter jet or a dinosaur. And just as rare, barely seen. Okay. Here's, here's the thing. Um, he hasn't said anything much that I agree with since George Bush doesn't like black people. I mean, th you had the troops rally behind you back then. What happened, madman? What happened? Anyway, the thing is, is that he does care about what other people think. And most of what he says is a contradiction. Stop looking at me like that. I'm a woman, I'm allowed to change my mind. <laughs> You know, he is looking for attention, and he says sometimes the most asinine things. If you want your daughter to grow up more, no, never. You know what, I just wanna see your daughter smile for once. <laughs> North is a beautiful baby, but I would love to see how she looks when she smiles. Anyway, uh, there's a new scandal brewing for the Clinton family. Somebody call Olivia Pope. <laughs> well, according, hold on, I'm thirsty, Wait, hold on. <laughs> According to a new tell-all, it'll be out in August. Uh-huh. Look, Bill Clinton has a new mistress. Oh. oh, really? You're shocked? Have you ever been in the room with him? Well, I have. And I can tell you, I've been in the room with him twice. Every girl's panties dropped to the ground. Oh. They were making a beeline pushing one another out, and some men did also. <laughs> I gotta tell you, 
he's handsome, he's nice and tall, you know, the tall, he still holds his back straight, you know, he's not like slumped over. Good hair, nice skin, lovely to everybody. You just you can't take his eyes off of him. Anyway, reportedly she's a buxom blonde whose name for the Secret Service, they call her Energizer. <laughs> which, is, which is funny that a man with a heart condition has a young girl called Energizer. <laughs> and I don't know that she's that young. Uh, she might be like a middle-aged woman because a telltale sign is that sometimes she allegedly bakes cookies for the Secret Service. <laughs> like young girls don't do that, you know? They're busy, you know, working on their game. Um, anyway, so, um, Every day, it seems like there's more and more scandal with this Hillary Clinton and her bid to want to be, you know, president. I, this, you know, this Energizer Bunny thing will never get in the way, though, of how I feel with her politically speaking. I don't know, you know, I'm one of these types of people. I, you know I love the juice about people's personal lives, but when it comes to what they actually do for a career, I don't let the waters get muddy. Like, I don't, you know, I don't care if he has 30 Energizer Bunnies. In my mind, I don't believe that they even sleep in the same bedroom, much less the same wing of the house. I think that the most that these, do, these two do now as a couple is they might every once in a while meet in the kitchen for a cup of coffee with their, with their glasses on the tips of their nose <laughs> on a Sunday morning with the sunlight streaming through the window. I, I, you know, I just think that they're partners in the name of power. I don't see anything romantical going on. And he's got to, I guess, get it somewhere, you know? Um, but. That's not gonna interfere with whether I wanna vote for her for, for, her for president or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. And congratulations, by the way, Clintons. Um, I never said, because uh, Chelsea's pregnant, so they're gonna be grandparents. Nice. Yeah. Well, we all know that Nene Leakes likes to talk about how much money she has. <laughs> hey, Nene. Uh, her latest stunt has people upset. Well, she took what they're calling a $10,000 Birkin bag, only Birkin bags are not $10,000, like a, like a leather Birkin bag, that's $6,500, but it's, it's so funny how people move those prices up and down. Um, that one, this one right here is the one she got personalized. Um, she had somebody, ow, hair, oh. ow. Um, she had um, an artist write all over it, you know, her famous lines, bloop and I'm rich, very rich. You see, close your legs to married men. Aww. I love gays. Um, the problem is, is that this is not original. Do you like this? Do you mind this? You take a bag that expensive and do it. Clap if you love it. No, clap if you love it. Oh, I, well, I had to beg for that one. So apparently, <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't even authentic with it. Um, a lot of people would say that in this day and time, why would you do something to such a nice bag? Um, you know. Kim Kardashian um, had a gift that Kanye gave her. We had to blur it out, they, nobody's wearing any clothes. But Kanye commissioned this big artist to make this for her. But that's also Kim, who, who you know, unfortunately, comparing the two, and I'm not trying to count Nene's money next to Kim's money, I'm just saying one of them has way more money than the other. <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes like when you see somebody who's making, you know, so much money as Kim, you're not quite as offended when they ruin a piece of art like a, like a bag. This is not even a regular Birkin bag, this one looks taller. I actually like the way that looks mm -hmm. for the purpose of, you know, Kim, who, who's got a lot of money, so why not do something creative with it? And then Lady Gaga did it even before Kim and Kanye. Mm -hmm. Yet she looks like she was just bored and took a Sharpie <laughs> and put the letters on the bag and also on her arm. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Nene, how original. Let's move along. So, Courtney's man, Scott, was caught taking a bubble bath with another woman. Whoa. And we've got, as they'd say at mediatakeout.com, the receipt. <laughs> Show the picture. It's Chloe. Whoa. What would happen if we pushed the microphone into the bathtub? If, if you were Courtney, would this be okay with you? They, they spend entirely too much time together. And I love my brother-in-law and I love my sister, but you know, these two go out for lunch entirely too much. They, they, they're at the club entirely too much. Now they're pulling a stunt. Now I get it, everybody has on clothes, but the 
intimacy of it all, it's, it makes me scratch, you know? Uh, I, but I guess like when you're on reality TV, you have to do something, especially for as many years as they've been on, you have to do something to keep the people watching. And so you end up doing things like sitting in a bathtub. I haven't taken a bath in 12 years. <laughs> Our son will be 14 in August. Yep, 12 years is about right. <laughs> They're too time consuming. I'm not even, like, like Suzanne says that she hasn't taken a bath in a while because she doesn't like that infection and that swill of water that you sit in, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. For me, Plus, you can get a yeast, yeast infection. Yeast from infection. It. That's what people say. But my reasoning for not wanting to take a bath is just because I don't, first of all, I don't have the, the attention. You know, I've got a little bit of the ADD. As soon as I get in the bathtub, I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do in here now? <laughs> And I get it, we have cell phones, you could be on the cell phone, but what if that drops in the water? <laughs> and you could read, but I could read on the couch. Uh, and also, you know, I just think like when you're in the bathtub, you are so vulnerable. <laughs> you can't hear what's going on in the rest of your house or your apartment. And what if somebody comes in and pushes the microphone in to try to do you in, <laughs> you know? Even when I take a shower, I take Jennifer Aniston showers. And I'll tell you why I call them that. Many, many, many years ago, I read an article about Jennifer Aniston, and it said that she takes like two and a half at the most three minute showers. The reason that I do that also is because you're so vulnerable. <laughs> like, oh my, what if, what if somebody jumps in the window? <laughs> what if somebody comes through the front door? Yeah, so when I get in the shower, I get busy immediately. I don't even wash my, I wash my face at the sink, but even after I wash my face, I wash it and then I look around. <laughs> I, I mean, I, yeah, no, that's just me. I know I'm creepy, but so are these two in that relationship. Let's move on. Remember with the, with the Sandra Bullock break in, she just got out of the shower. And that man was standing in the hallway right outside of her room talking about, Sandy, I love you. Oh. Yeah, they carted him off. <clears throat> anyway, I haven't been watching The Real Housewives of New York, I have to say. I don't know what the hell is going on. But there are a few people around here that do. Do you watch? Clap if you do. Yeah, yeah. I've told you this before. Every story that I do on Hot Topics isn't just for me. Sometimes I, they're stories that I really don't care about, but I do them because I know that you care. I think that's what an unselfish um, girlfriend does. <laughs> so this is for you. <laughs> Apparently, Mona Sanger, a singer, rather, a singer, like the sewing machine. <laughs> Ramona Singer had a run-in with her husband Mario's mistress, Casey. Oh. But the run-in is good. Okay, so there's a restaurant here in New York for which Ramona owns a piece of it. And so she's there having lunch or dinner with all the other housewives. And reportedly, Casey showed up specifically to confront Ramona. Oh. Do you know how Casey found out that she was there? Social media. Everybody always, oh. yeah, yeah. That's what you get, Ramona, for, for telling people where you were. I mean, you didn't deserve for this to happen, but that's why you don't tell people where you are in case they wanna come into your house <laughs> or in case they wanna meet you in aisle three to have it out with you or meet you at the restaurant. So we're nosy, you know, we called the restaurant. <laughs> we hear it, Wendy. Now look. The manager told us that um, when he tried to, when uh, that when um, he tried to have Casey leave, she reportedly went crazy, yelling. The whole dining room was staring. The manager's trying to usher her out. She goes, "You know I'm still bleeping Mario." Oh. In the dining room at the restaurant with Ramona right there. So then, so then, um, the manager gets her outside, but Casey says, "I have to go to the bathroom." And so Casey goes back into the restaurant, locks herself in the bathroom for 20 minutes. Oh. Set siders say when she came out, she was an absolute different person. Oh. Oh. Well, I don't know what she was doing in the bathroom, but my mind is going crazy now. 
anyway, um, so the f confrontation happened there and it's just, you know, we don't know that she's still messing around with Mario, but this is clearly, you know, a young girl who has an agenda. Mario was dead wrong for messing around with her, dead wrong for messing around with her, dead wrong. But it's 50-50 to me. Maybe she and Mario still are messing around or maybe this is a girl who was a little turned up before she got to the restaurant, then got in the bathroom and came out like a different person and then continued it going. So it's just horrible, just horrible. Oh, by the way, speaking of the Housewives of New York, the season finale is tonight and they're saving the best for last. It's our hot clip of the day. Hit it. You say that you have never lied to any of us at the table and you find us really hurtful. I find that. Well, let me I tell you something, that. Heather. I the only thing, keep it together, Aviva. The Get only it. thing that is artificial or fake about me. This. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Aviva. 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 That is the best party trick ever. You know what I mean? Like that is, no, that is such a great party trick. I mean, she's turning lemons into lemonade. How dramatic. I would do that trick every place. If I was at, if I was at Nordstrom's in the shoe department and the man comes over and says, what size do you wear? I would say a size 11. Here, why don't you just take this to the back and see if it fits. Listen, that would be my great trick. You know, the one thing, um, I, I've shared this with you before. I was born with the sixth finger over here. And that would be my great party trick. Like if my parents kept that finger going, I'd have the best how you doing ever. <laughs> like, like, see the bump? Here, that little bump right there, that's where the sixth finger was. But that would be a great party trick, right? Taking off your leg or how you doing with too many fingers. 